Okay, I'll start with Grasshopper. Uh, so, okay, so whenever you open uh, Rhino 3D, I'll always double check what is the unit. Make sure. I'll always, always check. So, this one is inch. Just make sure that. And to open Grasshopper, just type Grasshopper here. Oh. Then you will have a Grasshopper window. So, everybody has this one? Okay, so basic interface. Just simply just drag whatever uh, you want to use it. And then just, that's it. This is all you need. Just drag it. And then, but probably uh, you are not familiar with all these icons. There are, you know, hundreds of icons here. So probably our best bet is simply uh, double click on any window. Just if you double click it, you will open, enter a search keyword. And I simply type point. That will bring you point. If I need curve, I'll just type it. So this one is the basic thing. And then if you want to connect, so in Grasshopper called it whatever here. Basically, what it what are our what are three elements of computer programming? Yes. No. What are three elements of computer programming? Yes, input, function, output. So basically all these things are collab uh, functions. And whatever you have this one, these are all parameters. They called it, Grasshopper called it this one. This one is actually your, probably could be your input or output. They called it parameters. And in Grasshopper, whatever Somewhere in the middle, it's called, actually we call so far function, they call it components. And each component, and then if you, you may want to connect. So actually the basic idea is, is like something like this. So you, to connect these two, so one parameter and component, just so simply drag and left mouse button click at the right end of it, then actually you can drag a line and just simply connect it, that's it. If you want to disconnect it, simply go to one end, with either the first one or the second one. If you click right mouse button, there's a disconnect option. So click disconnect point. You can do either this side or the other side. So if you want to disconnect it, do that. If you have multiple parameters, and then if you want to connect those things, actually the original, if you drag the second one to the point, it automatically delete the first one. Just assume that this program assume that you may only connect one for each. But if you press shift and then try to connect it again, it will connect two of them together. So this one is uh, connecting uh, multiple parameters into a component. And then a little bit about interface. Uh, something critical for you is actually a uh, display option. Uh, if you check, uh, already Eric uh, uploaded the Grasshopper Primer, all those icon or the shape of components is a little different than this. Actually, what you will see is something like simplified icon. And then actually, that's why actually that I think that is the bad side of using the Grasshopper Primer. It's very difficult to use it. The reason why they showed the icon is actually they have different options in display. So if you click draw icon, this one actually shows simply kind of like a kind of like simplified diagram. And actually, that's what uh, Grasshopper Primer uses. it. And actually, this one is very difficult to understand for you. So I would unclick draw icon so you can see the title of each component. And another option is draw full name. Make sure that if I unclick it, it shows the abbreviated text. So actually this still, this one is difficult to understand. So I will always click draw full names and unclick draw icon. So by doing that, you can read the full title, also full, full name of the options. So if you have a kind of like different setting, just change that. 
So we, for this semester, we only use this kind of form and do not use the icon shape because we are going to share our uh, grasshopper code each other. And then, of course, the zooming is fill a scroll button, zoom in and out. And if you click the middle button, you have secondary menu, probably some of the collection of frequently used buttons. And if you click my uh, right mouse button, there will be another option. So, and then each component has three parts. Left one, what is that? Input. Middle one, the function, and right one, output. And actually, if you click right mouse button, you will see a different uh, contextual menu, which is, if you see this one, if I right mouse button click on the output side, you will see map something like this. If I click right mouse button in the middle, you will see something else. And then input, you will see something else too. So uh, be careful when you right mouse button click to see the optional menu. And then always I would check. So last Tuesday and the last throughout the last week, I tried to uh, kind of like, I want to teach you the data type list. Why? Because every data type, about 95% of data type in Grasshopper is actually a list. And many cases, it uses nested list or triple nested list. And it's just like Lego brick, if you have a kind of like this kind of Lego brick, the only Lego brick you can use for this one is the one look like this. And that something corresponding this kind of shape is called the data type. What are the three data types we've talked so far during the last two weeks? Sequence. That's three type of programming structures. What are the three data types we worked with Scratch so far? Numbers and text and finally <laughs> list. <laughs> what is list? What is the definition of list? Oh yeah, exactly collection of multiple elements. So whenever you have a list, I recommend you to draw a table. Okay, then let's just start a little bit. Um, I will delete everything. Okay, uh, 